Following days of unrest, police in Ferguson, Missouri, named the officer involved in Saturday's fatal shooting of Michael Brown, while at the same time releasing new documents police say tie Mr. Brown to an apparent robbery of a convenience store shortly before the shooting. Welcome to your Friday lunch break, everyone. I'm Tanya Rivero. The WSJ's Ben Kessling is in Ferguson right now, where he's been covering this story since Monday, and he joins us now with the latest details. Hi, Ben. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. Sounds like there's a lot of activity there behind you. What are people reacting to right now? Uh, well, behind me is the Quick Trip convenience store, which uh, was looted and burned uh, over the weekend and it's sort of been the epicenter of, uh, of protests here in Ferguson. People are reacting to the release of the officer involved in the shooting's name, but little other information uh, related to that officer. They're also reacting to uh, the police releasing uh, both shots from surveillance video and police reports that... Uh, tie Mr. Brown to uh, to a robbery, uh, a strong arm robbery, uh, just minutes before he was shot. All right, so let's go to the timeline. What do police say happened exactly before the shooting? Uh, police say that Mr. Brown and another man uh, went into a local convenience store, uh, asked for some cigars. When the cigars were on the counter, they grabbed them, uh, and the convenience store clerk came around to try to stop them and tell them they need to pay for those cigars. And uh, that Mr. Brown pushed the convenience store clerk, uh, allegedly pushed the, uh, the convenience store clerk into a rack and uh, uh, magazines and intimidated him, uh, and then they left. At that time, uh, the convenience store clerk called 911, and uh, the police eventually uh, uh, found Mr. Brown and uh, and someone uh, the, the other man involved walking down the street, and a uh, confrontation occurred. Okay, Ben, we also have a copy of the police report right here. We've been going through it. There's no mention of a weapon in the police report. Apparently, he uh, allegedly, according to this report, stole a box of cigars valued at $49. Is that your understanding as well? That is, and uh, there's been no change to, to make it seem that uh, Mr. Brown was armed at any time. All right, now let's, let's move on to uh, the name of the officer police say shot Mr. Brown. He's been identified as Darren Wilson. Now, police hadn't released his name before, citing safety concerns. Do we know if Officer Wilson is in any kind of protective custody? Uh, no, we don't. The police were uh, uh, made, a, made a very quick announcement this morning, releasing the officer's name. Uh, wouldn't release any other details, uh, wouldn't release how, how old he was uh, or any other information related to the case uh, or that officer's status. The uh, chief of police here, uh, Chief Jackson in, in Ferguson, has said that the, uh, the officer is, was treated for, uh, for wounds that he received at the, during the struggle with Mr. Brown. Uh, he had just was uh, apparently hit in the face uh, by something. Uh, and that the officer is also uh, undergoing, he's talk, talking to counselors and that sort of thing. Okay, now Ben, after days of unrest and protests there, something did change last night before these recent revelations. Tell us what you saw last night. Well, last night was a complete change from the previous few days. Uh, last night, police uh, were really nowhere to be seen in, uh, in, in town. Uh, the, the new uh, the new commander of uh, of the of the area is is Ron Johnson. He's a uh, African American officer, uh, highway patrol officer. He's from the area, and uh, he came down here during the day, talked to protesters one on one, answered questions, and then as nighttime fell, they uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Johnson walked at the at the front of a column of protesters up the road, and then left and took most of the police officers with him. No riot police, no batons, no helmets, and uh, locals. Did a great job of keeping the road uh, the road clear and flowing until uh, until early uh, early morning. Now, has last night's mood morphed into something slightly different today in the wake of all of these of all this new information? Well, it, it's it's really hard to say. Every day, uh, daytime and nighttime protests have been quite different. Mm -hmm. uh, today, people are more vocal. You can hear in the background here, uh, people are upset about this information that's been released. They're asking why the police took so long to release the information about the, tying Mr. Brown to a robbery, if it could have helped calm, calm things. They're also still demanding to know more about the officer, and they're, they're upset that the officer involved in the shooting is on, is on paid administrative leave, which is standard procedure, uh, but they're uh, we're upset about it. All right, thank you so much, Ben. You'll continue to follow the story closely for us. And, of course, The Wall Street Journal will bring you all of the latest developments on WSJ.com.